Next up is Ikomo. Ready? Okay. So, hi, everyone. I'm Eric. This is Tian Yi. We found the ECMO so you can know what's in your word. These are the word quality ratings for purified word, tap word, and filter word. These results would have required professionals and $10,000 equipment today, but not anymore. We create ECMO to immediately show you what is in your world. And no waiting, no uncertainty. So this is ECMO. ECMO is the first real-time, low-cost water tester. Today, you have uh, smoke detectors to alert you to fire and video cameras to warn you of physical threats. And today, you will have ECMO to alert you of water quality problems. Let me show you how it works. So as soon as you turn the, as soon as the word flows through ECMO, it begins to work. And the color will change and actually immediately show you what is your word quality. Let's see the results. OK. So it's 5.1, which means we probably need a filter for this word. And all the results will always be recorded. And oh. if there is a problem, health problem, and you will uh, get alerts to your phone right away with all the detailed information about your word quality. Please uh, switch back to slides. And we follow the EPA drinking water standards to measure six water quality parameters. These parameters will cover most drinking water issues. Um, for example, we measure metals like lead, bacteria like E. coli, general impurity, suspended solids, pH, pesticides, and pharmaceuticals. And we provide a number of different installation options, like this one on the faucet, or you can hide it underneath a sink, or we make sure it works with fridge filters, or actu actually you can take it with you for traveling and camping. ECMO is, not, uh, is more than just a way to get alerts. With our subscri subscription service, uh, we will learn about your water and create a filter system just for your specific problems. Actually, when we know when your work quality is dropping, and your new filter will arrive in the mail when you need it. I have been studying work for my whole career. I have PhDs in environmental engineering. And Tianyi and I bring up uh, together a fantastic team to tackle this problem. We are all passionate about delivering the cleanest work to everyone. And today, I'm excited to, to announce that we are going to launch our beta access program. Within four weeks, you'll be able to experience ECMO for yourself. So please register here, ecmo.io slash launch, or visit our booth C14 to test it out. When you use ECMO, actually you are helping us to build a map of world qualities around the world. And we will, share, we will be sharing that data with everyone so we can constantly improve the water quality. And we are ECMO. Know your water. Thank you. All right, four minutes on the clock. And uh, a great new innovation this year. If you go over the four minutes, we play Biggie Smalls or Jay-Z. <laughs> until you get off stage. It's like the uh, Academy Awards. Okay, questions for Ecomo. How much? Yeah. 
Uh, right now, we are, uh, have a few different pricing uh, tests. So um, we, we actually uh, want to get more data of this to get it more e economic for the user. And Ball, terrible, ballpark? Ter terrible answer. Uh, <laughs> question. Yeah. How much? So uh, right now, the price point is around like uh, $200 to $400 ish. So we will, um, th th that's the first batch. We'll get that price down over time. So um, there's no reason that this couldn't be one single unit on all the water coming in to the house. And that would be a $200 to $400 unit as opposed to each faucet. Because a lot of the issues with water is. Um, taking a shower and absorbing some of the chemicals that are in your water. So it's not just drinking water. Right, right. So that would be, you could actually have a full house system for 200 to $400. Absolutely, yes. You can do this as an inline uh, analyzer. Not only for the faucet, we actually provide different installation options. And instead of having to pull out your phone, could, uh, or does it signal or send a message to your phone when it, when it notices there's a problem? Right. Okay. Yes. Did you, did you do any user testing around how many people are just satisfied with having a filter? Like, I just want my water to be clean versus how many people want to know, like, exactly what is dirty before it's cleaned? Uh, I mean, actually, we got a lot of interest from customers already. Like, uh, right now, if you use a filter blindly, you trust it blindly, right? You don't know if that's working, and also you don't know when you change the filter. And uh, there are studies showing that if you don't change filter for Breda for six months, actually it will be more bacteria than in the clean water. So you gotta have a way to know it. That's our point. Like the transparency and data is more important. And How, it, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. No, go please. How are you gonna sell this? Is this gonna be direct to consumer, or are plumbers gonna sell this, or? Right now we are doing an e-commerce direct to the consumer. Just direct to consumer. Yeah. What about installation? If you're not doing just one faucet and you want it in line, so for your whole house it's covered, how does that, who has to install it? Uh, the customer, it's really, really easy actually. It's in line, you can screw this down, this is our side, just putting on the pipe. So it's pretty easy, five minutes under the sink. What I think is interesting is that this will help people prevent potentially another sort of Flint Michigan issue, which I think yep. is great, so thank yeah. you. Thank you. Um, my question is about the filters. So does it come with filters? Like, when do you have to replace them? How does that work? Is it like a consumable thing, or? Yeah. It's a good question. So the initial package, we include three different filters that can tackle different contaminants. After that, we actually build a word profile for your filter. Then we will send out, with our subscription model, so we will send out a custom filter to you when you need it. So before you actually notice it, you get a new filter. The, the one that was really exciting to me is the travel version, because I travel a lot, and I'm always, you know, you flip the faucet, and you're like, okay, what's coming out here? Right. So where is that at, at the front of your product plan? Do you know what the marketing channel, because I think the marketing channel for that's quite different than a home device. Yeah. That is true. Airports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. So, well, this is, Obviously, the first version, we, we make it portable. So it can be an in-home or travel version, but probably down the road, we can like, make it even smaller for a traveling purpose. But you know, this technology has to evolve down the line. Yeah. One question, speaking of Flint, like, oftentimes people with the worst water can't afford a two to $400 device. Right. Have you looked at working with cities or water companies to provide them to those types of communities? That's really a good point. So we can work with uh, government. And also, uh, it's not, say, if you, someone have an uh, analyzer at home, they will share the data with others, not only keep it safe, I mean, it's, um, secret for yourself, right? So in that perspective, actually, everyone is helping each other. You only need a handful of people with those in order to make a difference. Right. Correct. Yep. How many people would be interested in a device like this if it was, say, $10 a month? Raise your hand. Okay, I think we have. How, how long, how far away is it when it's ready for market? Uh, so we will do a beta testing program for the next three months. We, want, we really want to get feedback from user and improve the product. Then we'll do the launch yep. in June. Have you thought about, this seems like it would be natural for a service model where I actually just pay you a couple of dollars a month, I get all of that stuff and I get the filters and I don't have to worry about anything else, right? It's just like, and then you've got a customer who you, who's gonna have clean water. Have you thought about doing that? True, that's why I'm saying we have different 
idea for the pricing models. We haven't have a concrete one, like how many people want to pay I mean, for, I mean, one time or how many want to pay as a subscription. Let's hear for Ecomo. Big round of applause. <laughs>